Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, Will. Hello. Tonight is the joyous return of Tabletop RGB. Will, I was trying to think earlier, how many iterations of Tabletop RGB have we had? 8,000. I think it's... Okay, I know it's... It, we did the podcast. That was the show. podcast. We did the board game show. Hi, Zach. Yeah, which did has the board never, game show. ever... Never aired. Released. Yeah, I wasn't there another iteration that we were going to do. Um, we were going to do the. Oh, was what it, was that? oh, it was. Oh, I remember. We were going to play board games like Patchwork, which is about making quilts, oh. and then in the same video, do what the board game is about, like make a quilt. Yep. yep or yep. or do like a Gettysburg War game, a Civil War board game, and then go to Gettysburg. Not a bad idea. Yes. We're too lazy. We don't have the resources for that. Um, this is possibly the next iteration this is yet another stream pilot ladies and gentlemen we're going to be playing let me just transition over here tabletop simulator and just playing a bunch of board games will do you like board games i love board games. will ask me if i like board games ian do you enjoy board games i love board games um i've played a little bit of tabletop simulator you have not is that right uh, I this is the first time I've ever been here. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. It's basically like a physics sandbox in a way, but it's geared towards um, it's it's geared towards tabletop simulators. I see you trying to flip the table. The, the, the not, they, they cannot because it is thankfully hidden by chat. I'm not doing anything. Strength check failed. Oh, I think that's just What's, a joke. I think it is too. <laughs> um, but basically, this is just a physics engine. That allows you to, um, I'm going to be careful here because you really can mess with a lot of stuff. You can pick up pieces and move them. And as the name implies, people are basically using it as a tabletop simulator. So you can buy a bunch of, um, you can buy or get community free add-ons that basically emulate a lot of games. Today we're going to be playing Memoir 44 from, is this Asmodee? Uh, I have no idea. Let me pick up the tablet. Days of Wonder. Days of Wonder. Days of Wonder. So, um, Will has read the rules. I've read the rules. Neither of us have played this game before. Is that right? Correct. Okay, so I can pull up the scenario rules. They're on the tablet. Um, let me pick up the tablet. Bring it over here. It's kind of weird because you can, pick, I, you can pick up the tablet. or I mean, you can do the alt view on the tablet, but I don't know how to control it like that. So I think I just have to zoom in on the physical tablet and move to it to interact with it because it just loads a web page. Um, are you ready? I am ready. I think okay. I was just, um, are you going to be the Axis player or the allied player? I'll let you choose. Uh, I'll be the allied. Actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause I'm on the Axis side of the board. Um, and I already picked though. So. Okay. Um, so Axis player, I take five cards and I move first. So, and the ally player takes four cards. So, do you know the shortcut for that for this deck? No. What is it? So, if you put your hand over but don't do anything, and then you press the number on your keyboard, it'll automatically put those cards in your hand. So How many do I take? Oh boy, let me see. You take uh, four cards. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's it's nicer than having to grab them one by one. But you can look at my cards, can't you? No, I can't. I can see how many you have, but that's it. Oh, it doesn't show the tops of them for me? Oh, yeah. No. Wait. No, it doesn't. It shows the back. That's like your where your name is. That's like your, your hand area. Uh... Okay, so this scenario is six medals. So you get a medal every time you eliminate an enemy unit completely. Or you get medals for capturing for putting a unit in these towns. Gotcha. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, an allied unit that captures a town counts as one victory medal. As long as the allied unit remains on the town hex, it continues to count toward the allied victory. If the unit is moved off or is eliminated, it no longer counts. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, special rules. The hill that runs along the beach is a bluff. So that is, you can see my hand, right? Mm-hmm. So these tiles here are hills. Gotcha. So those are bluffs, which are 
more than just normal hills? Where's the hill card? Like difficult terrain? Yeah, normally hills are just blocking line of sight and then doing a minus one and a minus one if you have to fire up them. But these are bluffs, which is um, there are two hex move. Tanks cannot move off the bluff from the beach. Um, and from the inland side, I treat the bluff as a normal hill. So for you to move onto these hexes here, these hills, is two movements gotcha. instead of one. And for me, it's nothing. And your tanks can't go on these hills. Zach is asking if the stream pauses every five or so seconds. You know what? Let I think me I, check. I think I may know what that is. Let me know if it's better now, Zach. Um, so the, do you know about the alt key? Oh, well, actually, I know you're checking. So let me, let me talk about Memoir 44 and just let me know when you're back. This is a, um, World War II game. It's, it's supposed to be like an introductory war game where it's made things a little bit simpler. You don't have a lot of different unit combinations and logistics and supply chains and all that to worry about. It's basically, you have units, um, you roll dice based on how far away you, fra you are from what you're trying to shoot at. Yeah, dice. Uh, very stuttery. Sorry. Okay, it should be better now. Zach, let me know if it's better. I was uploading something in the background, so that could have caused an issue. Um, do you know about Sorry, alt? I didn't mean to... Zach, alt. I mean Will. Yeah. So these over here, if you just hover over them and hit the alt key, it'll zoom in for you. Where are you? Oh. Yeah, that makes it easier for <gasps> Oh, daddy light. Okay, so let me I, just continue. I went all the way over there, too. Yeah, let me just continue doing scenario rules. Um, the Axis player is in control of the bunkers and may claim them as a defensive position. I'm not sure why. Maybe check Twitch or Mixer, Zach. It's, it's probably better. It's YouTube is wonky anyways. So these are German bunkers here. I'm the only one who can use these. And inside of a bunker... Where was that rule? Yeah, you're real posy. Wow. Even on Twitch and Mixer? Yeah, I'm watching Twitch right now. Okay, one second. Let me, um, I wonder if it's restream. <laughs> Sorry, let's, folks. Let's do a live speed test. Ian has really bad internet. I don't know if people know this. Um, so I was uploading on P Cloud. Yeah. So I've got two fifteen down. Well, two twenty, two thirty, which it's a little bit slower than usual. Oh man! Can you alt on these up. pieces over here? You can like see the like nice print on it. Oh yeah, that is nice. Daddy like. Okay, so let me look up the bunker rules just so I'm just kind of going through this stuff just because this is the special stuff we'll have to. Yeah, don't you need a you need a <laughs> I noticed it on another stream but was too tired to say anything. <laughs> uh we'll we'll fix it in the future. I'm lazy. Twitch is the same. Yeah, I checked Twitch. You know what? Oh, you know what? Yeah, OBS is showing me 63.7% dropped frames. Oh, that's a lot. Why, though? I wonder if it's the game? No, it's not the game. I wonder if it's Restream. I'm going to check my settings real quick. I'm going to look at these soldiers while you do that. Streaming is 5200 bit rate, which is normal. I think it's my I think it's my <laughs> Okay, let's think this through. If I stop OBS and start it again, do you think we'll be okay? Probably not, but 